fresh off his best start of the season in his last three he's got an ERA just over two and the league has hit a slight 194 against him in that span the overall numbers pretty decent we certainly talked about his first couple of starts struggled a little bit with the feel for those pitches his second two starts a little bit better and then the start in Boston what we kind of expect from La Piedra just an absolute monster on the mound and Fenway Thomas lines one to left ball hooking toward the corner Cesar Hernandez coming around Gary DeSarcino holds him as the ball reaches the cutoff man and Lane Thomas is batting 600 this weekend. Grounded to third, backhanded by Drury, flip on the first, and they retire Soto. And that's what you expect from your veteran pitcher to be able to get a swing and miss when you need it, swing and miss stuff. Well, the inning is up to Josh Bell. Bell, right field side, fair ball into the corner. And Josh Bell will save the inning like Franco did last night. A two out knock to drive in two. Josh Bell with two strikes goes down, gets the ball, hooks it into the right field corner. Payoff to Votto. That's on the bounce. Flip to Castillo. Nice cover. Well, we saw before the game, Joey Votto out there working on his defense with the flat glove. Patrick Corbin, 11 games, 10 starts against the Reds. One complete game career, 404, and a record of 3-4. 313 average batting, or batting average against the seven home runs. Want to keep that down today. First pitch, Senzel into center field. He's got a season-high five-game hit streak. Sam got a hit in his final at bat yesterday. He went one for five. Sends that one through the left side hole. Windmill is on at third base. The test, Yadier Mendez is fired to the plate. Senzel on the slide. Bam ends up at second base, and the Reds are on the board. Tying run in scoring position. Joey Votto goes opposite way. Yadier Hernandez sprinting back. It's off the wall. Bam rounds third. Votto surges to second. Throw to second. Bam scores. Votto in on a slide. A game tying RBI double. And that is 442 career doubles for Joseph Daniel Votto. Outright second most in franchise history. Nothing and one after the check swing foul ball by Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson cranks it to left. That's down base hit. Wave on for Votto. He jogs in. Stevenson sprints into second base. A go ahead RBI double as Stevenson plates Votto. The Reds have the lead three to two. Two two. Oh good pitch. Patrick's best of the inning. Gets the strikeout. A defensive swing after 97 up and in. Lane Thomas strikes out. Wildly throwing blows from the outside, and there's a couple of reasons why you do that. Swing and miss, strike three, consecutive K's for Castillo. Josh Bell pops it up, shallow right center. Reynolds out the firm pole and the back pedal again. Because it affects that pitcher, now he starts to slide step. Runner goes, pick off Wolf, Bell, sidearm throw, tall throw, and that made the tag troublesome at second. Fam is in safely. Bell threw that from his hip. As I said, put pressure on the defense, and you can see Tommy Fam definitely in there, safe. Out to center. Not deep. Thomas momentum. Fam staying. Farmer was their sixth in a row this year that's close at first out is the call so here's Luis Garcia with one out tying run at third and he hits it into right field past the diving Votto and he will get the RBI Hernandez into score ball misplayed by Aquino Franco trying to get the third and he's going to be safe and an RBI single by Luis Garcia top of the order Cesar Hernandez who has walked twice and Votto's got this one He's going to go to short. The relay is not in time. And the Nats get another run. 3-1. Bounced up the middle. Reynolds to first base. Two out, nobody on for the Nationals. Michael Franco, he's riding a six-game inning streak. And a former Philly, way deep. Franco, see you 
later. That is probably his longest as a net. Number four on the year. It's five to three. Well, well, well. Four straight sliders. I'm going to hunt a heater. He hunts it and he gets it. Yeah, we have mics around the field. Sometimes fans are nearby having chats on the phone or with each other. <laughs> Cesar takes care of that in short right field. Down and in. Farmer, the strikeout. Patrick Corbin, number five. You know, it's not unusual for guys to lobby for a hit for guys in their club, but to lobby for an error? Well played by Kbert Ruiz. Patrick Corbin now looking efficient through six. And Juan Soto's on. Only the second walk of this series for Juan, but the Nats looking to add on, and that should be it for Castillo. Here it is, bouncing to Reynolds, short way second, Farmer, nice job on the pivot, double play. That's how you draw it up, bring in the reliever to get you a ground ball, ground ball opportunity, turn, 4-6-3. And another one, gets the tapper, and he drops it, and he can't get his feet. Well, you hope he's not hurt. He locked up on that, and he went back, it looked like his leg buckled of some sort. And he stops right there, and that's where his leg buckles on the left side. Tying run bats, but two outs. Now Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson cracks it to right center, base hit. Drury scores. A three-hit day for Tyler Stevenson. He draws the Reds within one. He'll need to hit a grounder right at somebody with pace for a double play. He lifts it to center. Victor Robles is there for the second out. And a play on it first. Did it. The call is out. Caught stealing. Picked off at first by Cabin Ruiz to Josh Bell. And the Nets win the ball game.